Even in this clear water, a clawless otter can't see that well. It works mainly by feel, with delicate hands. The clawless otter has sensitive fingers to manipulate prey, but without webbed feet, it can't compete underwater with the spot-necked otters. It's not really at home in the lake. It prefers rivers and swamps. It makes occasional forays to feed, for the crabs are bigger here. So much bigger that every time the otter finds one, it must weigh the prospect of a meal against the risk of damage to its hands. It looks like the aftermath of a dinosaur square dance, but this is the work of the lake's most progressive mouth brooder and is the summit of cichlid sex. For a few days in the spawning season, male flashers come up from deep water to display in these arenas. It's like Muscle Beach, for when these fish flex their pectorals and pelvics, it isn't just to the females, but to nearby males. The females choose the flashiest, and to entice them, males flutter on their sides to reflect the light. To have any chance of mating, they must shine out in the crowd. So there's pressure to move shallower where it's brighter in order to attract attention. an evolutionary gamble for a fish, a meal for a giant kingfisher. Move and counter move, and refereed by predators. Cichlid evolution is a game in which thousands of tiny lives are forfeited every day. There is one predator in the lake against which cichlids have evolved no defense. With feeble fins, bilious skin, and piggy eyes, it's not much of a looker, but in its own way, it's stunning. It's an electric catfish. Instead of using muscle power for speed, it generates electricity. It needs to get in close to knock out its prey. Each time it convulses, it delivers a shock. The victim is a member of the mob, and there is no defense yet against 300 volts. Although somewhere, a cichlid is probably working on it. To swim this slowly, an electric catfish can have little fear of predators. But an otter has yet to be born that can pass up an opportunity like this. What looked like a meal 
turns out to be a course of shock therapy. <laughs> 